is up guys, this is my voice, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit with HitFilm Express completely for free. Basically all you got to do is just Google HitFilm Express and then click the very first link. And uh, yeah, it should load to this website, then you got to click this button, download it for completely free. So basically when you download it, when you open it up for the first time, it should look something like this, hopefully. I don't know, if you guys have like a newer version or something, it would probably look different. But you would see like all these add-on packs or whatever that you can buy for money. But if you just want to edit like how I edit, like I don't even spend anything and I can still do stuff. So you don't really have to buy any of this, but I guess it helps if you want like a cool effects. So basically you just gotta click new to get like a new thing. And you can choose like uh, different settings like 4K, 100 FPS. Um, I use uh, 180 full HD 60 FPS I think it's pretty good like it doesn't take that long to render like if you want to have a really high quality video like down here it's gonna take a really long time to render and yeah it sucks so um you can customize like frame rate height width, all that normal stuff I'm just gonna keep it normal sample rate all this that stuff you don't really have to worry about any of this uh, and yeah just go when you're done with that just click start editing okay so now you should be on this screen right here and basically, you're gonna need some clips, obviously. So you can click this import button right here. It should open this up. You can just choose like a clip, and then you'll have the clip right here. But it's not in your file right now, like project right now. This is the area with your project. So you want to drag that clip right into this area, and then it should go into that. So you can just edit it now in here, and you just gotta choose like a bunch of clips and just put it inside there. Okay, next up, you're gonna to wanna to find a song for your montage. So I just found this one. It's not that good for a montage, but I was still easy to find another one because I don't know, it takes a while to find good music, I guess. So yeah, you basically have this. You just have to copy the link right here up in the top. Just control C that. And then you just gotta go over to ytmp3.cc um, and just put in the link and then make an mp3 file. I will put this uh, like, ytmp3.cc in the description so you guys can just click that easy and you just gotta put the link in and then click convert and then click download and it's gonna give you some freaking ad you just x that out and then now it should be downloading in the bottom corner and now it's downloaded so you just gotta go way back over to your hit film express and click import go over to downloads and then select the thing you downloaded which is a song that's gonna be confirming the audio it just takes like one second and boom you got your audio Okay, I actually forgot to tell you this part from the beginning, but you want to put in your audio first, like the song first, and then put it in, and then you got to left click, uh, click make composite shot, or just do control M, and then it'll just say this, you can change the name to whatever you want, click OK, and then now it's in a composite shot, which is what you want to mainly be editing in, editing in, like, I don't know, it's way easier to edit in the composite shot editor than just like the main editor, I don't really know why they make it like that, but that's how it is, and now you want to take your clips and then drag it in. Oh, I messed up, and then drag it in. Okay, so now you got your clip and your music. You want to left click the music bar or whatever, and then do options, do show waveform, just so you can see like the waveforms better, so you can like notice like where the drums play, so you can sync up the shots and all that stuff. It's like a lot easier. Um, let's just play and just see how loud the music is. Uh, okay, let's move it. Oh, I, I guess it's a little bit too loud, so you can just click the drop down go, uh, of the music, click audio. There's level, and you can just change it at like, I'm just gonna say negative five. It just makes it a little bit quieter. I hear it, I mean, it's the exact same, so I'm gonna move it even more. Uh, that's probably too quiet. Uh, let's go like negative 11. Yeah, that's probably good. So like, you got your, your music. Um, I'm gonna find the drop, just to make this video, hold up. Oh, that's way past, uh, you gotta find the drop. Okay, here's the drop, and you just gotta wait. Hold on, I'm gonna just make it in, this, this bar, by the way, just zooms it in. I'm gonna wait for the drop and just see where I can find it. Uh, okay, it's coming up. Okay, so you notice that the drop comes right when that spike. Here, I'm gonna zoom in even more. Like you see that little spike, like right there. It just it's like normal, and then it just shoots up right there. That's where the drop is. So like that's why show waveform is helpful, so you can see like exactly where the drop is. Yeah, so you, that's exactly where the drop is. So I guess I want to time my shot to that, so I guess you can just put your uh, marker or whatever this thing is right next to like about where the drop is, so yeah right there. And then you want to move this, just keep moving it back until that, that's like where you shoot. So like let's just say I shoot right there, okay, now I'll just play it back and just see what syncs up. 
Yeah, that syncs up actually pretty good. So, uh, yeah, a lot of things that some people do when they make montages is they don't include the audio for like the sniping, but I feel like it makes it a lot more cool. So just keep the audio for the sniping if you're ever doing a montage. Yeah, so oh, it builds up and then you can add a bunch of effects and then boom, it shoots right when the drop happens. That's what you want basically. So that's how you do that, I guess. You need to use show a form and then you can just put this right next to there, the bump or the thing happens and then you can just move the clip together. Okay, so the next thing that I want to talk about is how to do basic screen pumps. Uh, you'll see what they are from the, the, the preview video, I guess, that I showed at the beginning of the video. Like basically, it's just when the screen pumps to the beat, I guess. So um, when you are when you when you are doing screen pumps, you want to zoom in a little bit so you can see like the beats more. Like you see those like jumps, those are like where the drum happens, I guess, and that's where you want screen pumps to like go. So you want to click the clip, and then like the drop down, and then click transform. Uh, go to scale right here. That's like where it makes it bigger and smaller. Oh god, okay, chill, chill, chill. That's where it makes it bigger and smaller. And um, I think wait, I don't know. yeah, that's where it builds up. So I want the screen pumps right here. Like when you hear the drums, like all those drums. Do that. Okay, so um, to make the screen pump, you just gotta zoom in, go like to the very middle of that uh, beat, I guess, and just make it go in like, I'm just gonna say like uh, 115 maybe. And then basically you just wanna click the circle to keyframe, and then you gotta just move it back like, say like 0.5 sec 0 0.05 seconds. So basically five frames, I think, and then just go to 100. And then you go back, click click back over to uh, the beat. And then um, you just click this five times. It goes five frames, basically 0 0.05 seconds, but this just makes it more accurate, I guess. So click the one, two, three, four, five times, and then you gotta go 100, boom. So now they're exactly five frames apart and you'll just see like, do you see, you see the little like bump, I guess? It just, yeah. If you look up in this top corner, you'll actually see, like, just look at my name, like, pushes, I guess. And it doesn't look that smooth. And if you wanted to be a little bit faster, like, I guess I'll make it a little bit faster. We can make it, like, four, four frames, like, apart. You just gotta move them a little bit closer, and then, yeah, you can just experiment it. Like, that's pretty good, I guess. So, you can also highlight all of it, and then click this circular thing. It's called manual bezier or something. I don't know. I don't know. It just makes it smoother. And, I don't know, you can't really tell the difference, but it does. Uh, so now you just want to copy that, and then you just want to paste it where every single, like, beat is. So you just go right in the middle of there, control V, paste it, um, make sure, like, the 115 scale is right where the beat happens, click this, uh, there, and then just paste it, move that, and then let's just see if it actually syncs up. Yeah, it, it looks like it kind of does, so I'll be back when I get all of this stuff, like, actually... Pumped, I guess. I don't really know the word to say. Okay, so I'm back. As you can see, I made pumps at every single drum part right here. And you notice that they're closer together right here is uh, because, like, if you zoom in, you notice how, like, the, the things start going in faster and faster, like, toward the beat. Like, you just want to have pumps, like, closer together, I guess, toward the end. So then it'll look like this, I guess. Like, you see how it's pumping, like, at the beat, I guess? Yeah. And then it goes fast right here. Yeah, it goes faster right there because the beat is going faster. You just want to basically copy the pumps at the beat. Like, that's what makes it look good. And now, um, like right here, you see how this is like just like soft and boring. You can have nothing there, or you can have like a bunch of flashing black lights. I guess. Yeah, I'll show you what I mean. Like, like you can hear the tiny drum in the background that just like like beating rapidly. I guess. Like whenever that happens, I like to have a bunch of just like flashing black screens. So what we want to do is you want to go to effects right here search on um, Q, and then you want to hue, saturation, and lightness, drag it into effects of the clip, drop down, go to master, and what you want right here is lightness. So, um, right about here, I want the flashing black lights to start, I guess. So you can just zoom in, and then you want to click lightness to zero, I guess, for the start, and then you just want to click the circle for a keyframe, and then I usually like having three keyframes or frames or whatever between my flashes so I'll go one two three frames ahead and then I'll go lightness to zero or negative 100 and then go one two three and then do zero one two three 100 and then oh no no negative 100 there you go and then 
Okay, that should be flashing, which is good. And I'll just be back when I just copy paste that the whole way, basically. Okay, so when you are finished adding a bunch of like normal, dark, normal, dark, normal, dark thingies all the way until the drop happens. Like you usually want to stop right when the drop happens. So it should look something like this. Yeah, so it just flashes black screens until the drop. I like to have that usually. So that's like basic editing, I guess. I mean, don't really need to know anything else. Okay, next up, like if you're done with your montage or whatever and you're just like completely finished, um, you just want to go back to editor and uh, wherever you want the montage to start, click this, and wherever you want it to end, I'll just say it ends like here or whatever, click this button. So now, um, this is the part that HitFilm will export. So when you have this part done, you just click this export button, click in out area, click go to export, and just click start exporting, and then it should just export slowly. You can see a preview of what's happening like in the export thing right now, and you notice that it it doesn't take that long, but when you have really big projects or whatever, it takes like right here, it takes up to 24 minutes to like just export like a minute video. So yeah, it takes a while if you have a bunch of effects, and when that is done, it should be done at like in 10 seconds, 2 seconds, 1 second. Uh, okay, it's done. Um, I think it puts it to the videos folder, and right here it's called editor 16, you just click it, and then you can just watch it. Yeah, that's that's basically how you do basic editing with Hillfilm Express. I will be coming out with a bunch more videos just like this, showing other effects and how to like add more clips together and just do like I don't know transitions, advanced screen pumps. I don't really know. Yeah, I'll see. I'll make a bunch more videos of this. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.